Hi everybody, this is Pramita here and uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, I do have quite a few new subscribers as I always say uh, these days because um, a lot of new ladies have joined my channel. Thank you everybody for being there and uh, a very huge hug to all my older subscribers. So today's video is about two things, an update on the uh, snippet clusters that we were working on that were laid down on notebook pages or book pages or whatever, uh, an update on that and also uh, there is a news on my Etsy storefront because I'm going to start off 50% uh, off on all digitals that are in my shop. Uh, provided you meet the eligible conditions that are mentioned in the sale. So uh, today is my birthday, so this is a birthday sale and it's going to be um, lasting from 23rd till the 28th. So uh, it's going to be till, you know, uh, around the weekend also. So if you're interested, you can pick something up, you will be able to get 50% off on every digital item that is in the shop. So, let's start this video without further ado and uh, this is my snippet box and it's getting full. So I have completed, uh, nearly completed, I wouldn't say completed, that would be not totally honest. Uh, so this is the one, this is the bunch that I have completed. Uh, on the cluster and I'm just going to give you a flip through of the clusters because these as I said these are very time consuming and they take a lot of um, and I do not like to prep quite a lot ahead of time so some are uh, in this longitudinal fashion which as I said you can use them um, on your notebook pages I'll show you how you can use them <coughs> suppose you want to put them on the cover okay so you can put them like so okay so you have a nice scrappy sort of look or if you want to put them inside on the pockets you can do that so you can instantly give this a pop or better still if you want to use them on your pages suppose this is a blank page okay and I want this to be jazzed up a little bit so I can place this here and this ruffle will form a sort of tap uh, some sort of a peekaboo effect you can say so you can use it like this if you have something like this um, horizontal one you can simply place it like this and make it into a top tuck or you can use it as a pocket below Yeah. So you can make it into a pocket. So you will have this ruffled edge at the bottom. So it's totally up to you what you want to do. So each of the cluster is different and uh, and the purpose will be also different because each can be used in different fashion. So I have made them differently. None of the two uh, clusters are exactly the same. Um, so that was the point and this was one of my previously made clusters um, and what I've done is I'm going to use this on the cover like so or I can put it over here but I like it better at the bottom or I can even put it here. So what I've done to this notebook is that I have laid down this fabric. This is a kind of sequined, this is a hand embroidered fabric that I had and I can put this down over here also. So I'm not sure where I want this to be so that is why I've not used it yet but I want this one to be somewhere in on the cover either on the back side or on the front so I'm not sure about that. So let's go through the snippets. So this was another one. So you can see each of them is a little bit different none of them are same probably I'm going to add some dangly charms beads or something of that sort depends on where I'm going to place it um, so here I've just put in a little bit of fabric some are very simple some are a little bit uh, more ornate you can say 
so like I've used labels, sunflower, die cuts. Um, this one I think we did in the process. And then I've just added this floral collage, um, you know, applique sort of thing. This one is something like this. I've kept it like this because I probably will add some charm to this. Um, these. So here I have uh, a little bit of lace. These are all trims left over after project, so I keep them in a separate box and then I start using them. So this is uh, um, this word is from Amity Bloom and this is from Junkwood Steph. Um, here I've done some, you know, layering. I can always go back and take off these threads a little bit more and give them a more rustic look so that's that this this was also one we had done in the process and I've just added this lace so some are very simple and this one also I had partially prepped it and I've just added a little bit of lace so this can be a pocket or a top tuck also uh, this one is just a simple flower and some layering so I have been working on them for the past um, since yesterday uh, or the day before probably and I just needed to finish this these so that I can share um, these with you people so they're just simple layering nothing nothing fancy about it just uh, I've used this was a stamped image that I had in my stash so what I do is if you want to see how I uh, pre sort of prep some stamped images and stuff like that then I can do one video like that what I do is I keep the scraps of papers in one bin sort of thing and then um, I one day I sit with all my inks and all the stamps that I will use in my journals I'll just um, stamp away and then make them into you know ephemera that I can use so this word this journals actually it came in a digital sheet you know when you're buying a digital sheet sometimes the shops they have their branding or logo uh, at the bottom so this came from uh, love junk journals uh, you know the shop by Miss Tracy Fox so um, her journal she uh, her collage sheets or papers or digitals whatever they come with her branding you know love junk journals so what I did what was I s just simply cut off the word journals and I've used it and this one is again just a cluster that I've done some just just some layering simple layering you can use them in many ways and in my next video I will show you how you can make these clusters uh, from your master boat collage. So I will, I already have done one uh, and I've used up some bits and pieces and um, I will, I already have the papers, I mean the master boat uh, put together. I just need to cut them down and show you how you can work on them. So keep watching for that video where I talk about masterboard snippet collage roll. Um, you can use them, keep them paper clipped or if after you've finished collaging on them, you can just trim them off, cut them off, keep them in a box ready for you to use. So thank you everybody for watching this. This was just an update on the mini clusters that we had done and some uh, in some ways that I have embellished them and this box is nearly full. And I'm super happy with the way things have turned out. I only have a few left which I need to embellish. But that's, um, you know, that is intentional. Because I also keep some random uh, bits. So that if I'm working on some project which might need uh, some uh, strips like this. I can use them simply like this. I do not need to embellish them. I can just stitch them on the page edges or something of that sort so I, I'm not going to collage on these I'm just going to keep them like so so that whenever I need something uh, very similar to these um, clusters but they have to be unembellished I can always dig into this so I'll keep them like this and I'm also going to make some more and I'll fill this box 
and keep it ready to go. So if I need some, I can always use these pre-made bases. Or if I need to use some uh, very unembellished ones, I can always use up these. So thank you everybody for watching this. Bye, have a great day and stay safe.